What's going on everybody? Joey here with Ratchet Response and today we're going to build a sidecar for this Ruger American in 45 using the real steel. Obviously it's going to be in blood red carbon fiber Louis Vuitton. It's going to be super sweet. Anyways, uh, these sidecars, they take a good bit to make. Um, anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. So I think what we're, I'm going to do is going to do more of a, uh, a time-lapse build. Uh, it's maybe not too too in depth maybe if there's something important i'll stop the time lapse and show you guys what i'm doing but with that let's go ahead and get this video started
All right, we got that thing all blocked out, as you can see. Took a lot longer than normal because it is a real firearm. You had to block off all the ports. I ended up making a little uh, JB Weld blocking section here. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Alrighty, time to cut this to size. Alrighty, got that cut out, but as you can see, the holster is going to get caught on the safety here because I did not block this out, but I did that on purpose because we're going to cut that whole section out. Basically, we're going to come up about right here and then just come forward just like that. Usually, I just do that with these big, big pair of cutters here just like that we can even do the same for the front <clears throat> all righty That is looking pretty sweet. This thing's gonna be awesome. Alrighty, we got all these edges buffed up on the buffer wheel. Looking good. Now it's time to put this thing together, get the clips on it, bushings in, and bend it to shape.
So remember, we locked this clip in place. So now the retention for this area is gonna be done by the flathead screws on the back. This one, you can go from the front. Doesn't matter, because it's not locked in place, but the clip is, so we need to use this flathead to adjust the retention down, or tighter. So a little tight, but we can make adjustments to that. Before I do any of that, I actually want to get this thing bent. Obviously it ain't gonna be much of a sidecar if you're trying to conceal a straight piece of Kydex. So we need to heat up right along here and along there, right along the sight channel and bend this thing. But being that this is an actual real gun, it's not molded out for the sight. So I actually need to put my, my little block back in. Otherwise it could fold over the sight channel and then it wouldn't go in or out very well. So let's put this back on. I'm gonna do about three to four passes each side and then flip it over. You don't wanna do one side at a time. You wanna get both these pieces heated up to the same temperature at the same time. Too much heat in one spot will actually scorch the Kydex. It'll leave a, a glossy burn mark. Perfect. So typically what I do, is I don't wanna have a jig to do this for me, but I'll just put it up to, to my waist and essentially form it. And it's pretty consistent, surprisingly, believe it or not, my method that I'm doing here. And then I'll just hold it there. If I can, I'll grab some air. We got that guy formed, looking pretty good. You don't wanna go too far over. You don't wanna keep it too straight. To me, that's about perfect. It's, a, it's right about where I normally set them. If you're gonna ask me what degree it is, honestly, I, I don't know, but it's pretty consistent. So that mag is definitely way too loose. Let's tighten that guy up. Replace these with the shorter screws because those are gonna be too long. It doesn't catch the magazine anywhere along here. It's actually along the front. I don't, so there's no way to have Kydex rub into that to hold it in. So it's, it's gonna be more of a friction retention. But that is looking good there. Now, the gun is way too tight. I'm going to try adjusting the retention, but I have a feeling that I have too much indentation right here. So we're probably going to have to heat this up a little bit, massage it, and it'll go in and out smooth. You see what the issue was, is I had a double clamp on both sides of that trigger guard, right along here. Typically I only do one, but this is an old school foam press. And the way it was formed, it, I just couldn't avoid doing a double pinch. Yep. There it is, that is perfect. That could be loosened up a hair. There we go, that is awesome. 
super happy with that. It stays in there, it doesn't come out, goes in. Satisfying click. The magazine is not going to have a click, like I said. It doesn't have anywhere else to grab retention, so it's just a friction. Friction style of retention, but it works totally fine. And there you have it, guys. This is how to build a sidecar. Again, I apologize. It wasn't really an in-depth video. If that's something you guys want to see, let me know. It will be a longer video. I just kind of want to skip through the process on this one. This took extra long because it is a real gun. And when it's when it's real, it, it takes a lot more prep work. It's like uh, painting a car. You can't just throw the paint on it. It takes some prep work. That's why we as holster makers typically invest in very nice molds. That way it allows us to get these orders out quick for you guys. If you guys want to support the channel, please do so by hitting up RighteousResponse.com. I got some merch, got holsters. They are all made by me, a small business. I appreciate you guys for all watching. Leave a comment down if you like this guy and uh, let me know what you would put on the holster. If you don't like Louis Vuitton, hey, maybe you like Gucci. Maybe you like, uh, I don't know, Michael Kors. Maybe you don't like any of those, but again, I can put whatever you want onto your holster. All you gotta do is hit me up. We get you taken care of. Thanks guys, have a good day.